everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Chris here and I've been doing a bit. It was like four turns for this uh, job here. It's now down to one. I've been building up our forces. Uh, pretty much all I'm doing right now. Um, we have our second Minerva, Min Minerva? Minerva for uh, Draco fleet. So that'll be the same kind of setup as Imperius. Uh, Paladin fleet has gained a promotion. So they have more fleet capacity now. I could send a Minerva down there and take out their, um, their Yanis cruiser. Um, that would bring them up to the four Battlestar level. But they would be missing their long-range artillery. So, Centurion, let me know what you think. Um, we are building two new planetary defense fleets at the moment. Um, waiting for a ranger on one, two adamants and a ranger on the other, but they're almost ready to go. This little fleet here is an Artemis and three Manticores. I'm going to be calling it Steel Grade Fleet because Admiral Steel Grade has requested a fleet composition of that makeup. But he, also, he wants a lot more um, Manticores. He really likes the Manticore ship in itself. In this game, so. But you need some Viper coverage. So, I'll be working that for him. Um, think about maybe a second battle star. Maybe a Minerva in there with it once it's leveled up a bit. We'll think about it. Um, this Minerva is on its way over there. Just want to talk about the comments that have come in over the last couple of videos. Um, I know that Minerva and the Berserk have longer range guns. I get that. They are also gas cannons. I get that too. The way I like to use them is in conjunction with other battle stars or fleet uh, ships of their size. I understand that's not to everyone's taste. I get that. And then the last mission we did lose two Berserks. I'm fine with this. It's the way I play. I understand that it's frustrating to some people that I don't use them in a way they think is better. It probably is, but I like things ordered. I like things the way I work them. It's just how my mind works and how I f like to play. I like things in order and that goes there, that goes there. So I apologize if it's frustrating. I really do, <laughs> but this is how I like to play. Um, if you go back and watch the other series that I've done already, me separating out the battle stars is a massive step for me. Because I never did that before. But I've relented. I've, I've given to the comments and things. Um, you'll notice in the last battle, the two battle stars were completely separate. They never used to be. They used to be stacked. Pancake style. Um, so I have changed my tactics. Um, but I understand if it is frustrating watching me and going, God, just, just put the bit. Oh. I get it, okay? I really do. Um, but there is only so far I can go before I'm just going individual ships doing individual things and then I lose con the direction of battle and things go wrong and we end up losing entire fleets. I cannot go down that road. <laughs> losing a couple of ships I can deal with because this fleet, for all its intents and purposes, isn't in bad shape. It's got Minerva now, but before it was two Artemises, a Ranger, and two Adamants. That's an awful lot of missile power. We've lost a few guns, yes, we've lost the two Berserks, but this I could work with still, and it's still a a useful fleet, whereas if I had it all separated out and working individually, and so I could lose containment on what I was doing, and I'd end up losing more ships, and that's a fleet completely crippled. So I'm, I'm not going down that road. Um, I appreciate that it is frustrating when you know this works, but I'm not doing it. Just bear with me, that's all I'm asking. Okay, this is like the fourth time I've done this mission, or this this campaign. Um, I'm adding new stuff each time with the, all the updates, so you know the Broken Alliance missions. This one, I think I remember it pretty well and I think also the, uh, the comment section some of my regular viewers have said this mission is really nasty so 
we are going to need a decent fleet, which means I'm probably going to end up putting Imperius fleet in here or something like that, um, transferring command of everything over to the officer Imperius fleet, and then going from there. Because it's a big mission, a really big mission. But I want one of these Time Guard fleets to kind of cover it first before I do that. Because I'm going to have to then regrip Imperius fleet after the fight. Um, last time we did it, I think. I did it with kind of like a mixture of Andamans and Artemises and and stuff, and we managed to bring back most of our ships, but not all of them. So this time with four battle stars and a, a long range missile thrower, I'm hoping we can do a lot better, but we'll have to see what we can do. Anyway, we are here to try and save a presidential aide again. <sighs> Yay. Uh, this Minerva is going up to Draco. Once Draco has been done, we're going to send it across and probably bring back Roma Fleet for a refit. Um, then we'll bring back Scylla after the fact. We're not doing bad on refitting these fleets. It's taking longer than I'd like, but... We're not doing bad. Anyway, uh, Apollo fleet, you have your Minerva, you have Nartimus. Yet you're at kind of capacity for a 6,000 fleet. We should be okay. I uh, want to. With six squadrons and an awful lot of missile power, we should be okay with that. Base star group has been detected. Ooh. A fortified colony is under attack. Oh, that's just him. That's insulting to Imperius. How could you be that insulting? Auto resolve. All right, let's do this. I am glad that auto battle. They didn't have it in the first iteration. You had to kind of like uh, fight every single battle, which was really annoying when you're trying to record a video. When you're doing live streams, it's great because we like three hour live stream we do like maybe four turns because <laughs> we have bites on every single front uh, right so we've now got this Minerva um, where is this annoying little pleb don't know <sighs> alright um, right we're going to put you together Which I'm sure Seth 90 is going insane right now. Um, we will put the Minerva and the Artemis sorted together, but we'll put them kind of separated. I think I might put the Minerva down the bottom. That is huge for me. I'd like to point that out. That is absolutely massive for me. Red Moogle's just come back. You might have heard the alarm on the door go. That's not her fault. I want her to understand that. Though. She's she's okay with that. She's she's nodding. We're good. Uh, is Red Moogle okay? Red Moogle's decided she's not going to talk anymore. Not on your video. It's fine. People know you. I'm sure they want they come in to watch these videos more to like hear your your sweet voice in the background. It sure as not see my ugly mug. It might be so they can get frustrated with my tactics. <laughs> really getting frustrated with my tactics. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, so if we do that, we might be able to drop the Artemis down to kind of use its flag to protect the Minerva. The Minerva's flag field is pathetic. Really is. Um, we'll drop you guys as well. Just a bit so that we don't have to move the range up as high. It's going to be firing down anyway, but. Cries a Raptor Squadron. Great. Alright, well, we'll put it on the. No, we won't put it on that. We'll put it on the Minerva because the Minerva has the least amount of. 
maneuverability. And we'll put the Minerva's Vipers with the Artemis. So it means we're only going to have two groups of Vipers, really. But, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, let's do this. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Here we go. Hostile marks all over the station. No response from inside. We should get our Marines in there as soon as possible. Well, that's the plan. They are much lower than us. I mean, I wasn't exactly high to begin with anyway, but. Yes, Commander. Let's keep the battle stars running at about the same pace. Um, push you guys out a bit. Yes, sir. On it, Commander. We'll keep the Ranger at the same height though. It means it can be firing from above and torpedoes come straight down onto them. At least for one turn, so it's got clear firing lines. That's all I care about right now. Uh, right, let's launch everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood. All right, we'll send the Minerva's a Viper and Ray. Raptor to the station. The Raptor can be protected by the Vipers, and the rest we will see what they launch over here. There's only four ships. I'm not buying that for a second. Any Vipers being launched? Uh, Raiders. I keep calling them Vipers. Nothing. Okay. All right. Um,. You, I want you to defend. Actually, do I really need to defend? I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. Cancel for that for now. Um, you're ahead of On them. On it, Ready. We'll leave those vipers protecting those two ships. Um, We will bring you down this turn, but we'll put you on full Dreyas range. They're not launching any vi uh, raiders, so interesting. Bored. No, forget that. Defend the Ranger. All group one are going to defend the Ranger. Group these two will defend these two ships. In fact, we will push you guys out a little bit. Don't want your Vipers getting caught in the flak fields. Still gotta keep dropping because they are way below us. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Understood. And we'll hold off on firing the Rangers munitions right now, but. Missile tubes prepped. I'm only going to fire one of the Minerva's missile tubes as well. It's on its way. Vipers are on defensive duties. We're good. Hostile unit identified. Okay, we've got one there, but we've got missiles vipers. incoming. Not defending anything, apparently. Okay, you go full defensive. Looks like it just got. Yeah. Nemesis all over the place. I mean, that's fine with me if they want to do that. On it, Commander. They all seem to be going for the Berserk. It is a dangerous ship, so... Yes, Commander. Thank you. Go. Cool. Right, you go with that. You stay with the Berserk. Berserk, I want you to go full offensive now. But I want you also to also keep dropping. So say we all. There's your new target. Yes, Commander. No, I want you to go for that one. You can go for that one. On it, Commander. Uh, Raptor, how are we doing? Miles away. This could be a very quick battle and a very long video. Go. That one's dead. That one's dying. That one's almost dead as well. So say we all. Right. You're almost dead, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn them over this way. Um, we're going to ignore that one. We're going to help out with that one. You are going to focus your fire there and finish that one off. Raptor! Tell me you've made it. Where are you playing at? That was, um, that was fun. 
I thought it might be four revenants, maybe, or a couple of revenants and uh On it, Commander. I think I really should set them that way. Artemis higher than the men ever. Um Yeah, I mean I thought it might be three revenants and uh, um um a nemesis or two revenants and then two nemesis when there was no vipers launched but raiders no raiders launched <laughs> ah. um but not four nemesis that that was just me There they are, they're all raptors. I mean, we may as well just keep going. Hostile forces inside and out have been neutralized. The security entourage is injured but safe. Maybe this will get Kane the presidential FaceTime she's been angling for. No, it didn't last time, why would it this time? Um, okay, so... Way more firepower than we needed for this one. I mean, way more. But hey, it did the job. Maybe put them in over above. And then... Oh, I'm not sure. Got a couple of hits in, but that's it. The Vipers took care of the rest. Thinking overkill on the torpedoes, but that's fine. I'm quite happy with overkilling the torpedoes. wasn't it? That way everyone's just flying around. Fun. Shows the raptors. <laughs> good mission. It was a good mission. Did the job. We're happy. Smiley face. All right. Um, so, we'll repair you for the 10 tie limit costs. We are short on tie limit at the moment. Um, let's take a look at the intelligence. I'm going to swap you back to Viper Mark 2s. We're not going to need you for the whole time. Clifford Wiggins, impending promotion. Uh, yeah, we want the Atlas. We definitely want the Atlas. Okay, so you do actually get a, a promotion, Apollo, uh, officers. Yep, definitely a promotion there. You don't get anything we really want though, so we'll just go for armory. Helps with the flak. Um, armory is for flak on battle stars, so also marines on board. <clears throat> so you'll see that a lot of the times, whenever um, some a nemesis or anything will hack a battle star, they'll go after the armory first because it takes away flag defense makes it less effective so that's fine uh, we need another promotion to get you up to 7,000 fleet capacity which will allow us to upgrade your ships anyone else do a promotion no no not even close Archmage is on its way no no Oh, no. Cherubus fleet 
Well, that's one of our new home guards, so Wigan has just gone up. Admiral Mac. Uh, no, okay. All right. Now we can do there then. Suckage, but there you go. Um, you need to jump to. Is it? Yeah, it'll be Draco Fleet. I know it's going to cost us entirely, I don't care. Yes, because then we can pull out these two adamants, which means I won't need to build the two adamants I'm already building. I can pull them off. In fact, I'm going to. We'll need the ranger, though. They can go with these two uh, berserks. The ranger will go to there. Then I'll just need another ranger for that fleet, and then that's two systems covered. Just send those two fleets up there. That's two more systems covered. Uh, with officers, it means we still get the maximum benefit from uh, Tidium production. And we can start taking the space lanes and going after Helios Alpha properly. Not, oh, we're holding onto our planet. Oh, no, we're not. It'll be proper holding onto our planet. Uh, Apollo fleet, you need to jump back though. It's going to cost us 180, but I don't care. We want cancer uncovered. Because then we get maximum. Maximum, uh, what do we call it for it? Also means we can use our big fleets for doing the side jobs and not risking losing coverage over a, a Tylian producing planet. Imperius needs a repair. Oh, okay, done. Alright, so. Roman need to repair. When did that happen? Must have been a side battle. Okay, so there we go. Uh, my brief explanation at the beginning of the video is to I understand your frustration. It's the way I play. You just, it's just the way, unfortunately. Um, it may not be the most efficient way for the game. It might not be the way you would play it, and I apologize for that. But this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, but anyway, I think that's it for today. Yes. I don't think there's much else we can do. And I could pay like a thousand to bring Paladin fleets up to, I think it's 7,000 or maybe uh, 8,000 full fleet strength. And then we could drop in another Minerva, another Minerva, Minerva on top of it um, and then start pushing that way. Archmage also needs to get up. Titan as well. That's some really strong systems of fleet there. Um, you're fine. You just need I think it's another promotion to get you to 7,000 and then we can really start working on you. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like yourselves, please do consider subscribing. Until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.